hello guys you're welcome to our youtube channel thank you so much for stopping by to watch today's video if you are coming across our channel for the very first time please do have to subscribe to the channel turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when we we'll post another video the video I'm about to watch right now is another mind-blowing prophecy from the major prophet in this prophecy he has revealed what god showed him is going to be happening to the tinibu government in this year 2024 and i'm sure this prophecy is one a lot of us will want to hear because i know that it is something a lot of us have been praying for i'm not going to waste your time i'll just like watch this video and then let me know what you think about it in the comment section please after watching don't click away i have something important to share with you at the end of this video please do me a favor share the video and also like the video and drop a comment so youtube can continue to recommend this video to more people god bless you as you do so watch the video mm -hmm. oh, what's called uh, dissolve dissolute and completely dissolve and start afresh i don't know what's the perfect will of god but god knows what is the perfect will of his for the will of god is what we pray for all the days of our lives when we pray for the will of god we are after whatever god has and we are concentrating on the will of god alone not the will of man because will of man may be as it will please my brother and not please another brother from another family the will of god may be or my own will may be i want to please myself and displease others but what is the will of god if it is to please everybody and displease me as long as it's the will of god let it be and if god said he want to please me and displease others if it is the will of God, let it be. Because what we always ask of God is what's called mercy of God. Because we are in the era of prophetic transparency. To be very transparent on whatever is spiritually written and tabulated in the spiritual world for major prophet of God to now go into the realm of the spirit and begin to bring them to the physical realm. And God say, tell the people to pray because that's what's called dissolve. I don't know, what is this? What's this that's going to be dissolved? What's this that's about to be dissolved? What's coming on? What's happening? Rakatos of Fadila Adoskita Pata. Brickatalans of Kotoshata. Please, before you continue watching the video, please do me a favor. Like the video right now and drop a comment so YouTube can continue to recommend the video to more people. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified and we'll post another video. God bless you as you do so. Keep watching the video. Because we're in the era of democracy, I'm, I'm seeing democracy, and I'm looking at democracy, and what I'm seeing, what is this dissolved? Dissolved. Somebody must wake up and pray. Somebody must stand on his feet and pray. If you are the person that is opportune, and you are in the right place, and you are somewhere, and you think that is the best, you have to pray now, and pray the prayer you need to pray, because major prophet of God, I am not a prophet, one-sided prophet, I'm not a prophet of this or that, I'm a prophet of truth, and when I say the truth, if you love the truth, you enter my side, if you hate the truth, you find your way, because major prophet of God is concentrating on the fruit because this was called month of march and this was called swing into action i see what's called dissolved dissolved who is deserving this and what is this all about but the lord have mercy but the lord have mercy are they deserving what i hope this is not government dissolved i hope this is not democracy dissolved I hope this is not uh, 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 cabinet dissolved. I hope this is not. But I see in the realm of the spirit what's called uh, dissolved. Uh, we pray that God should show mercy. Because the mercy of God is what we're asking for. That God will take absolute control. I was seeing something that was shown to me online. Somebody was sending me a message. Said, Major Prophet, look at the prophecy you prophesied this recently about social people. Look at how it has come to pass. That is the level they are now. This, 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 this. I said, when I was prophesying, you think I was joking? Because I'm not the man speaking, but there's a God inside of me called God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the creator of heaven and earth, who does not live in heaven, 
believeth in my spirit who has his house is 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 thrown in heaven and you said the earth as a footstool and dwelleth inside of me when somebody will begin to ask major prophet of god you want to struggle with a man who god has given the grace to see this is not by power this is not by might. this is not by human terminology or human brain that will say oh it is human brain it is human terminology this is not human terminology this is not human brain this was called spiritual terminology and spiritual digestion of what's called spiritual revelations and insight pray because i'm saying what's called dissolved and democracy truncated may the lord have mercy rakatos of friendila katos e bradina and koshara baralala what we are praying on for every day by day is good things to happen we are praying for the will of god to come to pass we are praying for blessings we are praying for favor but i'm seeing what's called a wave of shaking a serious wave of shaking a serious wave of shaking why some people now begin to laugh and some people begin to cry some people begin to smile some people begin to mourn some people begin to rejoice and some people begin to be in pain i pray the hand of god to step in i'm seeing what's called this was called an big issue that god must take control because i'm seeing what's called high alert you know one thing about life is that everything has time if somebody will be angry with the prophet don't be angry with the prophet a prophet has nothing to do with all of these things a prophet is not a politician that comes to have anything to do with all of these things a prophet is a man whom god is showing revelations a man who god is now revealing things that will be and the prophet will have no choice but to prophesy them so that tomorrow you know that god has a side a position in everything that happens on the face of the earth because the bible says surely god almighty will do nothing except the first of all reveal it to his servant the major prophet of god whether this is going to happen here or there i don't know all i know we should pray 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 stand in prayer and pray we will stand in prayer and pray god will take absolute control the hand of the lord will prevail the glory of god will take over the will of god will manifest and there's nothing that can stop the will of god there's nothing that can hinder the plan of god there's nothing that is the best for us if not the will of god so that's what we always pray forever oh lord thy word is set to in heaven it is set to forever and always we pray the prayer let thy will be done thy will be done as it is in heaven let it be done on earth i'm sure you have heard everything the prophet have to say that is going to be happening in our country nigeria and also what will be happening to the tinibu led um, administration tinibu led government you see the only thing i want us to do right now is that we should pray for nigeria let us pray that god's will should be done in nigeria that whatever god has planned for our country nigeria that it should be done in the name of jesus you see i i saw a family uh, just yesterday and honestly my heart was just filled up with tears because I, my heart was just bleeding people are really suffering in nigeria people are going through a lot in nigeria please let us do it to pray for nigeria because i don't understand what these people are doing I don't understand what Tinubu and his people are doing for Nigeria. I don't understand what their plans are for Nigeria and for Nigerians. Sometimes I wonder, these people, they say they are educated. They go, they went to school. They, they like, I don't understand. And they, they say they travel. When they travel, the things they see there, can they bring at least some of them to our country and at least do something similar there? Sometimes I just sit down and imagine, just the, imagine the type of legacy Tinubu will leave if he decides to build at least one world-class hospital in nigeria where all politicians can be going for treatment instead of them traveling out every time to go and contribute to the growth of another country and our own country is dying headache they, are, they have traveled to france uh, stomach pain they have gone to, to uk leg pain they have gone to india that is how they will be wasting our money because it is not their money 
it is not their hard earned money. If not, they will not even think of to be traveling like that. How about if they decide to build us just one world class hospital? What is going to happen to Tinibu and his people? What is going to happen to these criminals who call politicians? It is not their money, it is not you people's money. Just build us one hospital, one world class hospital, then stop all these criminals traveling up and down from going outside to receive treatment. Use the money and develop our country. What will happen to you people if you give us electricity with our own money? It is not like it is their, their personal money. That is what is even paining me or pissing me off. It is not your money, but you cannot just use the money that is not your own to do something for the real owners of this money. Why are people heartless? Why are human beings like this? Look at the price of food in Nigeria. A whole giant of Africa, one bag of rice is now 85,000 Naira. Uh, uh, Sefa is now bigger than our Naira. See, Ghana cities is now bigger than our Naira. What is going on in this our country called Nigeria? I want to know. Please, somebody should explain to me what is going on. Because I can't, I just can't wrap my head around what, everything that is going. It, 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 it's like it's a dream. It's like I'm dreaming. It's like I'm dreaming. I've seen, uh, like, I've experienced bad times in Nigeria, but I think this is the worst. I think this is the worst. Even Buare, uh, uh, period was not like this. Though I know that he set the tune for all this rubbish. It is him that led, cost everything that we are seeing right now. If he had led where, well, at least Tinibu will come and inherit something good. Then at least we will know where even the problem is coming from. But Buare scattered everything and now Tinibu is coming to destroy and continue from what where Buare stopped. It is too bad. It is too bad. And I don't know if this Tinibu, if he does not have children, or if his wife cannot at least talk to him, let him know that people are suffering in the country. The people that he swore to protect and, and serve, they are suffering. I don't know. I don't know what we are going to say again. People, people are suffering. People are dying. Please let us pray that the will of God should be done in Nigeria. That the will of God should be done in Nigeria. God, it is only God that can intervene and save us from the hands of these wicked people. Because these people, they don't have conscience at all. They don't have conscience. Their mind is at the back. If not, you will not tell me that you will harden your heart despite the hardship that people are feeling in the country. You are seeing it. You are hearing it. Look at what Governor Alex Oti is doing in Abia State. Other governors, they are there embezzling money. Wike is there fighting with Fubara. Fubara is there fighting with Wike instead of developing our state. I don't know. I don't know what is wrong with this paper. I don't even know the right word to use again. I don't know. Please, let us do it to pray for our country, Nigeria. Nigeria needs prayer. Let us intercede and let, let the will of God be done in Nigeria. Whoever is supposed to come and rule Nigeria, because a lot of prophets have been saying that a Cyrus will emerge. I don't know where this Cyrus is. Is he going to emerge when everybody is dead? Let us pray to God that he, he, he should speed up things for us. Because it is not longer funny in Nigeria. It is no longer funny. Let us pray for God's speed, for things to be like for things to move very fast. I've heard series of prophecies. I don't doubt anyone. I know that God he can still help us. I'm not here to say this one is fake, this one is not fake. This one. Please let us pray for Nigeria. It is only God can, that can help us right now. Let us put aside tribe, put aside religion, put aside our political affiliation, put aside every sentiment that we may have, and let us pray for Nigeria. It is sad that whenever I say let us pray, a day people will say, oh, Nigeria is gone, Nigeria is not gone, that we are Biafra, we are not Biafra, we are the world Republic, we are. No. This is not the time for all those things. This is the time for us to unite and at least save our country, Nigeria. Please, do well to pray for Nigeria. Pray for Nigeria that his will should be done in our country. His will should be done. Thank you so much for watching the video. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm not happy at all. I'm not happy with what is happening in my country, Nigeria. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. But I know that someday Nigeria will be better. Nigeria will be bigger. Nigeria will be greater again. I know so. I believe so. 
I know that there is that Nigeria is a country that is full of potential. Nigeria have potential and Nigeria will rise again. Nigeria will, will become one of the best nations in the world very soon. I know so and I believe it. Please let us keep praying for our country Nigeria. Let us keep interceding that God should intervene and help save our country Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please do it to subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell so you don't find when we post another video. If you're returning subscriber, I want to use this opportunity to say thank you to you. Thank you for only stopping by to watch our video. We appreciate the love and support you have been showing us on, on this channel. May God richly bless you as you have been supporting us. May God continue to supply you as you have been giving us all the necessary support for us to grow and continue to reach more people with our content in the name of jesus thank you so much for watching please do me a favor like this video and drop a comment so youtube can continue to recommend this video to more people god bless you as you do so i will see you in the next one you are blessed mm -hmm.